Hello, I'm Lori Gagneau from the Center for Collaborative Education, and we will be taking a journey through a series of videos that will help explain the different parts of quality performance assessment. In this video, we'll explore what a performance assessment is and the value of using them in the classroom. Many schools are using more and more performance assessment. You may be wondering why these performance assessments are getting more and more popular. Two goals of this module are to define performance assessment and to understand the value of using performance assessments to show why this kind of assessment is gaining traction. What is a quality performance assessment? You are probably already using some, if not all, of the components of a quality performance assessment. In short, a quality performance assessment is a complex task that students complete that show the teacher and other intended audiences what that student knows and is able to do in relationship to the competencies and habits of a successful and engaged learners. Traditional tests assess how much knowledge a student has. Performance assessments go beyond that by asking teachers to assess a student's ability to use the knowledge they've acquired in a variety of capacities. Performance assessments invite us to consider why we teach the material we teach. Let's take a look at three areas we commonly teach. Teaching vocabulary in the context of a project can help students speak the language of a discipline, which they can use to communicate across all academic classes and walks of life. Learning about the balance of powers in the U.S. government informs our voting decisions and, as a result, creates better informed citizens. Knowing multipl multiplication facts comes in handy when planning the time we'll need to conduct multiple trials for an experiment, or in real life when we are figuring out a tip. Once we figure out the why, it becomes much easier and intuitive to intentionally design performance assessments that mirror real-life tasks that students will experience in the future. Please take a moment to think about how you would explain to a student why each of these topics matters to them. What is the meaningful transfer that makes learning each of these worthwhile? Please pause the video and press play when you are ready to continue. Okay, hopefully you were able to think of a few ways to explain the value of learning the life cycle of a butterfly the Pythagorean Theorem, Shakespeare, and Primary Colors. There are a variety of ways teachers use performance assessment in their classes. This slide shows some of the examples, ranging from a science lab, a written product, such, such as an essay, short story, or a blog, a musical performance, or an artistic product, such as a painting, sculpture, or mixed media art. We need to ask ourselves how we can ensure technical quality in these performance assessments. Technical quality refers to the validity and reliability of a task. In other words, are our tasks measuring what we think they are measuring and producing consistent results? We'll talk more in depth about validity and reliability in the other videos. Here's a quick overview of how your process might go. We use a collaborative process to create tasks and then come together to analyze and validate the finished task. The teacher designer then takes the feedback from their colleagues and sometimes with additional coaching, incorporates the aspects of this feedback before giving the task to students or field testing the task. A group of colleagues again reconvenes to look at student work and provide more feedback on the effectiveness of the task design and the instructional supports. The teacher then revises the task based on this new information, and the process repeats all over again. Let's walk through some of the aspects of this kind of quality assessment. The fundamental principle of performance assessment with technical quality is that it's open-ended and relevant, meaning there is no single right answer and there is a real-world audience. It also aligns to learning targets, such as any number of college and career ready standards or competencies, as well as essential skills and habits. 
and performance assessments require application and transfer of knowledge learned in the classroom. Performance assessments also use rubrics with clear criteria and they are fair and culturally responsive, making them accessible to all students. Finally, performance assessments result in original products or performances from the student. Let's take a look at this traditional math assessment. Students are asked to graph coordinates on a table, but they don't necessarily have any other application. It's very one-dimensional and doesn't really engage the student in a unique way. Now let's take a look at this example. This math performance assessment allows students to grapple with an authentic dilemma in their problem solving, apart from just regurgitating knowledge they gain from other class activities. Students monitor traffic during specified times and count the number of cars and other vehicles. They will then graph the traffic patterns from the data they have gather, gathered in order to help out the chief of police. Using the previous example, where do you see evidence of the components of a quality performance assessment? Please pause the video and take a few moments to think about the evidence. Then press play when you are ready to continue and we'll apply this thinking to your own practice. Now, alone or with your team, select a task that you've used before in your classroom. Consider the questions we've been exploring. For example, which elements are the strongest and which could use some revision or additional thinking? Take a few minutes to explore the elements of your task. Please pause the video and press play when you are ready to continue. Welcome back. I hope that activity was fruitful and I encourage you to repeat this activity with other tasks that you use with your students. For more resources or to dig deeper into this topic, please visit our website, explore the learning platform, or reach out to a member of the QPA team. Thank you so much from the Center for Collaborative Education. See you next time.